hello. We are out at Kerber today. But um, Kerber's got a nice winter coat on a lot of places. And I think the rain is being held in some of the algae covered, lichen covered cracks. So I have to be a little bit selective about which which climbs we can do. Pick to climb. It's been a while since we've done track because with going away in November, October, November time and doing a load of sport climbing and then coming back and doing some bouldering things, we haven't actually gotten out on trad. So we'll see what that's like. I'm gonna try this crack behind me. Parallel cracks up there. October crack. So Kerb is one of those places in Peak District that's notoriously hard. Um, especially some of the greys that it used to be given. So uh, guidebook jokes that it was a Kerb, a classic HS, uh, but it's actually VS. So what every hard trad climber needs is just endless pairs of solutions. I'm not sure these are the best for grit stain, but they're the ones that are the most comfortable. These are his Monday and Tuesday pair. <laughs> this is my Thursday pair. <laughs> It was a lot slopier up there than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a big jug, and it wasn't, which then scared me a bit. So then I had to sort of rearrange all my gear to try and get something a bit higher, just to give me that psychological boost. In true Kerber fashion, that felt hard. <laughs> yeah. It's like first lead climb for 
me four months probably, I think. But my head wasn't in it to begin with at all. I'm not sure my head is ever in it. I thought I'd try. It looks quite, it looks tricky, but I thought I'd try this climb. Um, so it goes up the thin cracks. So it's like this really thin crack, which goes all the way up, up there. So I don't know if my fingers are gonna be too fat to, uh, to fit in the crack or not. I'm hoping they're gonna go in. It looks like good gear, but small gear. The, uh, the baby dragonflies are gonna get the their first taste of rock. Yeah, hopefully they'll go in and hopefully I won't have to test <laughs> how good they hold. Oh, get on it. That was exciting. Really technical climbing, really thin holds. Quite good gear, but very small, thin gear. Had the, glad, really glad I had those dragonfly cams. Um, definitely made good use of those. Amazingly pumpy for such a short climb. Both of us got totally pumped on it, um, but managed to scrape my way to the top. So fairly happy with that. Nice 5C lead definitely couldn't get my my fingers in the crack 
they ended up climbing around the crack a lot more than I thought I was going to. What's the problem with being a woman? <laughs> it's really nice that harness makers put like the little bungee cord at the back and things so that you can take your trousers down and things like when you aren't all in. But you have to rearrange all your layers in winter. So you may as well take your harness off to begin with. The mistake of not taking it off before racking up. We'll reference how to put on a harness <laughs> around about here. You'll notice it doesn't have any gear on it. Right. Oh. Right, success for we. My arms are pumped from that. <laughs> uh, so she's going to do this nice little straight up hand crack. Looks like good gear. Try and look the part of the climber at least, not like something that fell out of a tree or a bush. Kerber in typical fashion, bit back. Everything's harder at Kerber. Got to get back used to trad climbing, having spent the last couple of months bouldering and sport climbing. Nice to play with those dragonfly cams there, they're very nice. Glad I didn't have to fully test them though. Did get quite close to that. We're out of daylight, we're out of arm power, so back to the van, cook up some food. I hope you liked it, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And we shall see you 
in the next episode, wherever that is. Bye.